So, what's your name and what do you think about the removal of the benches? I'm JD. I live in the neighborhood. I've lived in the neighborhood since long before the benches or the controversy or any of it. I think it's really stupid to remove the benches again mm -hmm. because they did this before. Mm -hmm. And what is their problem with, you know, with. They put the benches in, then they say, oh, we don't like the people who are sitting on them. We'll take the benches out. Right. And then they reinstalled the benches. They looked really good. Yeah. I thought the last ones were, you know, they were all, like, designed, and they were purple and everything. But they didn't like the people who were sitting or lying on the benches. So they had to take them out. To try and get rid of the people? Well, no. The people just moved to the nearest other place to sit. Yeah, I noticed so there's a lady over there sitting on the ground by diesel because there's no bench to sit oh, on. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm and the, you know, the obstreperous teenagers who were sitting on the benches are now competing for space with the naked dudes on the other side of the street. Like, problem solved. Hmm. What? You know, the problem is that the Merchants Association doesn't like the people in their own neighborhood. Yeah. And, you know, what are they going to do about it? I mean, they're within, within another two years, somebody is going to put up another who knows how many thousands of dollars to put the benches back and then somebody will be whining again about we have to take them out because of A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. You know, I get really tired of listening to grown-up businessmen whining. Mm -hmm. Well, Capiche? I do. <laughs> I understand. Thank you for sharing your comment. Anything else you want to say? You think they should put them back? I think they should put them back. I think they should put back, you know, if they haven't already destroyed the ones they had. The $40,000 ones that they had? Yeah. Why does that cost $40,000? Well... They were custom metal benches. Oh, they were metal? Yeah, I the ones... Even know that. Yeah, they were really they nice. they were enamel wood. And yeah, then they well spent $1,800 to, to remove, remove them. them. Well, hey, somebody's getting work. That's not a bad thing, but, you know... <laughs> Make Maybe. work is kind of silly. We yeah. could have they put some got more benches in some more places <laughs> yes. instead of, you know, having this, uh, 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 you know, now you see it, now you don't with the same benches. They looked good. They served a purpose. If the merchant association doesn't like people who utilize the benches because the people who utilize the benches aren't buying their stuff. Maybe that's it. <laughs> aren't, uh, don't look like consumers, uh, are mostly probably transient, not just transient to the neighborhood, but transient to the city. I mean, hey, San Francisco is a place where there are people who are here for a short time. Get used to it. Mm -hmm. okay. The Merchants Association didn't they have a, a fit about the uh, uh, the streetcar coming in here? Didn't they have a fit about uh, uh, a parklet taking up parking spaces? You know we can't we can't run this neighborhood on what ruffles a few businessmen's feathers. And I'm saying business men on purpose. Hello, it's the Castro. Mm. We know. <laughs> well, it turns out the executive director of the uh, Castro Upper Market Community Benefits District is a, is a female, yeah. Another but blow for tokenism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a good evening. All right.